So welcome to Expand Double Brackets. Right, let's have a look then. Let's have a look at some examples. Um, so if I'm looking at this one here, so it means that everything in here needs to be multiplied by everything in here. So remember, these are just, just expressions. So if I multiply this out, right, so let me show you. Now, this, this is what I prefer to do. Um, I like to draw little connectors. So x times x, x squared. You could write x x, but then that might look a little bit like a love letter. So we don't don't tend to do that. Um, and then we got x times three. So then we got plus. Now we tend to write the number before the letter. So we got three x rather than x three because x three that sounds like a spaceship. The fun birds maybe. Right. So this this guy here. He's been connected with everything over here. So that guy has finished his job. Okay, so he can go. He's done. Now let's go and have a look at the two. Right, two's been sitting there, nice and quietly, watching what's going on. So let's do the two times the x plus two x, and then two multiplied by three. Now remember, it's two multiplied by three. Do not stick five, loads of people put five there, if you get. So x squared, just group things together, plus five x, plus six. There you go, easy as that. The only way that these are going to get a little bit harder is uh, if we uh, if we just change the signs, okay? So hence the, the other examples. So just quickly fire through these ones for you, okay? So just connect. Now, I'd like to work down my page and I like to I always do this in the same order I do this one I do this one and then it's minus 7x now I do the one up here all right so this one's finished now we're going it now it's not 3 it's minus 3 so it'd be minus 3x and then the last one minus 3 multiplied by minus 7 well 3 times 7 is 21 and then it's a negative times a negative isn't it so, so there'll be a, be a plus there. Remember to have a look to see if anything will simplify. Minus 7x, minus 3x. Now, the classic mistake here is, I'm not going to make the mistake, but people say that's a plus, all right? It's not a plus, it's minus. x squared minus 10x plus 21. Have a little think about why people make a mistake there, okay? All right, it's not, it's not plus. Okay, so let's just quickly look at these other ones. So what have we got here? So same idea, look, x squared, just consistency. If you just keep practicing doing these the same way, then you will just do them without thinking, okay? Five times four, 20, but it's five times minus four, so it's minus 20. Have a little look, see if it would just tidy up a little bit. So x squared, got the minus 20, minus 4x, plus 5x, it's plus 1x, right? If you want to put a 1 in, we'll put a 1 in, all right? Okay. Um, sometimes people get a little bit stumped by this. Now, this, the answer to this is not, it's not this. Lots of people think it's, it's that, right? It's not that. Wrong. Okay. What does it mean? When you square something, it means multiplied by itself. So it means this. There we go. Then it's exactly the same as everything we do. X squared plus 3x. Now the top bit plus 3x plus 9. Tidy it up. Plus 6x. So you can see a lot of people miss that bit there, right? They just think, oh yeah, I'll just square that bit, square that bit. That's not the case. Okay? Be careful on this. Catches a lot of people out. Right? A lot of people get that wrong. Okay, one more. Ooh, what's different about this? Well, two things essentially different. Letters. Well, that doesn't actually make any difference. Okay? It doesn't really make any difference at all. Um, you might get an X, you might get an A, you might get a Y, you might get a T, you might get a Z, right? Who knows? So the letters are different. And of course, the more tricky thing is it's got three brackets. 
Okay, it's not just double brackets, three brackets. Now the easiest thing to do here is just forget about the last bracket for a second, right? Let's just forget about it. Okay, so let's do this bit of the question first of all. That's exactly the same as everything else that we've done. So let's do that bit. A squared minus 4a and then plus 3a. Okay, and now minus, whoops, minus 12. Okay, there you go. I'm just going to just want to keep that kind of hidden in there. I don't know what's happened to my x just there. Look, right. Oh, it's an a. That's y. Oh, so used to doing the x ones. Right, a squared got minus 12. Right, what's this bit in here? Minus 4a plus 3a. So if I start at minus 4, I add 3, I've got minus 1a. Okay, some of you might need to have a little bit of practice with your, your sort of negative number arithmetic. All right, so it's so the answer to this is this, but we're going to multiply it by this part. So a plus 5, there we go. So we've just got another little step to do, that's all. All right, it's all the same, just got another little step. So here a squared times a, a cubed, a squared times 5, plus 5a squared. Now this guy, minus a times a, okay, so minus a squared, minus 5a, and then the last little bit, minus 12a, and 5 times uh, 12, 60, minus 60. Have a look, see if anything will tidy up. So what have we got? So A, the cubes, we've just got the one of them. 5A squared minus A squared, so that's 4, 4A squared. So these guys are accounted for. If you want to, cross them off as you go. Minus 17A and minus 60. Okay, now the only place it might make this a little bit harder is it might mix it up a bit and have a different letter in there. So look out for that and have a little, just just, just have a go, see what happens, all right? So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let you have a go at doing the questions, all right? So by, by different letter, I mean like these two be A and then there may be a B there, all right? So obviously that would make it just a little bit trickier, um, but um, you can have a go and see see what happens all right okay right leave that with you all right you can have a go to try and do a few questions <laughs>